Hi viewers, my name is Anole Capis. You're welcome to the be part of the eight pieces cut together peplum with netop. Here we are going to do the back cutting. I folded the fold the back of the fabric. Remember, I used three yards of this for both front and back, depending on the size of the person. Here you fold you fold the fabric into two, then place the front to get your back. Then we are going to get our zip. Why I went inside is because of that half that I brought out here for the blocking of this. So I'm going to go in with half plus the half outside one inch. I'll do the same one inch. One inch then the next thing is to cut this one this boss I'm going to push it inside so that I can get I can get it without the boss coming out so I'm gonna push it inside then I will cut I'll cut straight then I'll trim off this Likewise, this one. The next one, we are going to get the side of the back with the side front. So we are going to cut it off. inside then we we'll cut Then you cut this one to off. The next one is to use it to get our net up. The next thing is to get our net. I'm using this lining as a pattern for the net. Here, I remove that half inch that I put here so that there will not be enough excess because here we are going to block here in the sewing. So that six that I remove is here. I mark my six inches. Then from here, the neck we use four. We use four. Then the shoulder is 15 and a half. So we're using 7 3 quarter. 7 3 quarter. Then the neck is 3 and a half or 3 3 quarter. You mark. Then you connect. Then here you mark 1 inch. For the connection then you connect so that the for the cut off of this place we usually cut off one inch so that it will relax if you don't cut it you find out that there is a lot of excess on that place then from there we we'll get our our armhole 
which is nine nine inches from there we'll connect here is seven three quarter we use 15 and a half it's supposed to be seven three quarter here we're going to use seven and quarter from here we curve then from here depending on how you want the depth of this second neck to be you can mark it but here we are going to use seven and a half here is a sweetheart neck which is the, the second neck which is the sweetheart neck from there you connect then you cut Here, you're going to, first of all, you will get the curve of this. Here, still remember, it does, it does a blockage. Then, you add your allowance, your joining allowance of here. Because without the joining allowance, it will reduce. Then here is the middle. Then the next thing is to get our back. This is the back, the side back, and the middle and the side back. We are going to get nets, the net for the back. I remove six inches. So I'm still going to bring it back to this place. Then I mark six inches. Then I use here is going to be five inches, is going to be four inches plus one inches for the zip. So it's going to be five. Then the 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 shoulder is seven three quarter plus one inches. One inch is going to be eight three quarter. You mark then the armhole is nine inches then here is going to be a v-neck so the neck is going to be let's use seven inches seven inches then then here, you connect, then you cut. But before then, we mark our one inch. She said the reason for is to cut off excess from the shoulder. Cut off the excess, then you cut. Then here we we'll cut off something.
Then here you mark you mark some remember here you mark here for the joining if not there will be it will nourish then here we are going to use this to cut the neck 